Hey guys, I'm back with another video and this video is going to be about my NOC experience. NOC stands for NUS Overseas College. I did the six months program in Ho Chi Minh and I'm going to be talking about five things about my NOC experience. The first thing is kind of related to adulting. It's money. Social media has quite a big part to play in this reflection of mine. Singapore is really expensive and I found myself being a lot more worry-free and cost-blind in Vietnam. That's not a good thing either but it does make a difference in day-to-day -day living. I really got to travel and go from place to place without worrying too much about transportation costs. I also got to eat food, drink good coffee, go visit different places just because I could. I went to a few thrift shops as well, which you'll see in this video. So being cost blind or being that worry free is not exactly a good thing, but it does make a difference in day-to-day -day living. So I found that living in Ho Chi Minh really changed the way I lived, I ate, and just who I was as an individual, which is a bit of my next point, that Ho Chi Minh version of me, Ho Chi Minh Nicole, was quite a monster. And I think being away from home for an extended period of time, for me, made me feel like I was losing touch of reality, which was really not a good thing. So it's good that I came back when I did. Maybe six months is my threshold. So I'm just exploring around the thrift shop and then afterwards I went to a coffee place to do some work and now I am in D2, District 2 and I'm at this lake. It's not exactly a lake. This is, I guess, my first time seeing a water body that is this black. So um, it's, it's very interesting. Also now I'm just walking and it's very cool that a lot of these residences kind of converted their house into, you know, business as well. It's quite a nice street. If anything, it reminds me a bit of Bukit Tima area, just because, you know, a lot of landed property, this kind of road, but there's still businesses around the area. So, oh wow, look at that gate. <laughs> yeah, this district hits different. Like, look at this. So pretty. This cardigan is pretty nice. There's a lot of bomber jackets here. I love um, denim jackets as well. I don't think I'll be getting anything here just because it's pretty hot here in Ho Chi Minh and it's hot in Singapore. There's no reason for me to be buying more jackets and outerwear. That is that for this thrift shop. And the next point that I wanted to talk about kind of in the area of adulting is loneliness. I found myself having to grapple with being alone and being self-sufficient again. I think in Singapore, just because it's so familiar and just because I have routines that have already been in place for so long, I never really felt lonely, even though I was alone quite a bit. But when I was in Ho Chi Minh, truly living all alone, loneliness really crept in so fast, especially in the first few months when I was there before I really started to grow closer to my friends. I really had to learn how to do things alone and be comfortable alone. And I think one of the outcomes from my NOC experience was that I really grew in my self-esteem in that regard. So I love that for myself. <laughs> but talking about loneliness, another thing that I wanted to talk about is friendship and friends make or break the experience. I promise you, traveling with friends really reveals a lot of things about you and the type of friends that you just vibe with and i felt like the noc friends that i had during this program were solid we were all so different we came from all different walks of life we studied very different things but somehow we managed to get along pretty well and i'm really glad that it turned out that way i think one thing that is really important when it comes to building friendships is a healthy level of conflict and I am happy to say that we managed to resolve conflicts fairly well and we were able to communicate which is such an important part of any relationship, be it friendship or with your partner or with anyone really. So I'm really thankful for the friends that I made during this NOC program.
Another thing that I want to talk about, of course, given that NOC is about entrepreneurship, is entrepreneurship. <laughs> One of my goals for NOC was that I wanted to learn more about what it takes to sustain a company because I do have Waves, my design studio, as well as Nomadomy, something which I am in the midst of trying to figure out and build. So getting some business experience with the startup that I was interning at in Ho Chi Minh was really helpful. I think there was so much that I learned from my friends as well. Like for example, Yu Qi. He is an amazing computer science student who has such a breadth of knowledge when it comes to venture capitalist things. I think I really learned so much from him and I am in awe of my friends who just understand finance things because it is my greatest weakness and I will do anything to avoid looking at spreadsheets unless it's just about my own budgeting and stuff. But otherwise, I really respect my friends who have such a diverse set of skills and I'm realizing also that a diverse set of skills is so important when it comes to building a team for entrepreneurship and it's okay to delegate and it's okay to not do everything because being a worker or an employee is very different from being a manager or an employer and I want to grow and make that change from having the mindset of a freelancer into having a mindset of a founder. Presentation day! <laughs> Oh my god, is this Nicole? <laughs> <laughs> and the last thing that I want to talk about is Vietnam is a beautiful country. NOC is not about the traveling, but I mean, if you're in a different country, you might as well immerse yourself in the culture and everything that the country has to offer. So we did travel around a bit. I went to Dalat with my partner. <laughs> Shit, all right. Thanks. Okay, thanks for saying. Bye-bye. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, you're again. And I went to Da Nang, Hoi An, and Hui with my batchmates, and it was absolutely beautiful and amazing. So if you ever go to Vietnam, I highly recommend traveling around to see nature and don't just stay in the city. So those are the different points on what I took away from the NOC Overseas College experience. If you want to find out more, because there's definitely a lot more that I can expound on, feel free to message me on Instagram or email me, whatever you prefer. But otherwise, these are some of the points that I took away. Oh, yes. what, is, what is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> Do not erase or you will die! <laughs> and if you're planning to do NOC as well, I wish you all the best and thank you so much for watching. I pray that you stay safe, happy and healthy wherever you are. Bye!